Bonjour. Bonjour, la classe. Today we are going to talk about les noms et les articles, nouns and articles. A couple definitions. A nom is a person, place, or thing. In French, remember that every nom, every noun, has a gender. An article is a word that comes before a noun, which defines it as specific or unspecific. So if we're talking about a specific noun like the black dog, we have a definite article, the, or in French, défini. Or an unspecific noun, so if we're talking about some black dogs, or a black dog, just any old dog, um, we're looking for our indefinite article, a or an, or some in English. For our article défini, our definite articles, these are used to talk about a specific noun, and they are translated as the in, French, in English. Now, with any noun, remember we have a gender and we have a number. So, in order to have an article, that article's gender and number must match the gender and number of the noun. So, if we're talking about a dog or the dog, okay, chien is masculine. So, we would write le chien, the dog. If we have multiple dogs, we're talking about the dogs, okay, les chiens. If we're talking about the teacher, the female teacher, okay, that's feminine, and she is only one person, so we would choose the singulier, which is la, la prof. Okay, la prof. Then, if we're talking about the teachers, we would say les profs. Note that regardless of gender, the pluriel will stay the same. It's always les. Then if the noun starts with a vowel, you will do l apostrophe. So if you're talking about the animal, l'animal, okay? And then if we're talking about the animals, we would say les animaux. Examples, il aime le chien, he likes the dog. Not just any dog, the dog specifically. Madame Probst est la prof de français. Madame Probst is the French teacher. I'm the only one, not just any French teacher, but the specific French teacher at Apex Friendship. Vous étudiez les verbes en ER. Y'all study the ER verbs. These are not just any verbs. These are specifically the ones that you're supposed to be studying, the ER verbs. Then we have our article dif indéfini. These are used to talk about a non-specific noun, and it translates to a or an in English. Again, we can have our masculine, and then we can have our féminin. Now, if our noun is masculine, or if the noun starts with a vowel, regardless of gender, if it's singular, we use un. If it's plural, we use de. Okay, so if I'm talking about a dog, un chien. Okay, and then if I'm talking about some dogs, not specific dogs, we say de, de chien. Then if our article or our noun is feminine, okay, if I'm talking about a teacher, a female teacher, we have une prof, some female teacher, des profs. Now remember, when we have a plural noun in French, that plural noun will end in S or X. And we'll learn a little bit more about how to make nouns plural. Examples of in indéfini, we have elle donne un examen. She gives a test. We're not talking about the test on ER verbs, we're just talking about a test. Tu manges une pomme, you eat an apple. In this case, un, or pardon, une is showing us um, that somebody is eating an apple, not the specific red one or the specific green one, just any apple. Uh, nous étudions des verbes, we study some verbs. You're just studying verbs, okay? Not any specific ones, just any verbs. Now, choosing an article. Remember that every single noun that we use must have an article coming before it. Okay, in order to find out which article you're going to use if you have your noun, you want to decide if you want to use a défini or an indéfini, the specific or the non-specific article. And then you need to look at the genre of your noun. Remember, if you don't already know the genre of the noun, you can look it up in the dictionary. But as we learn nouns, you should try to remember or memorize the article that comes before it. So um, our genre can be masculine or feminine. An example here is a notebook. Okay, we know that the word for notebook is cahier. Um, if I want to say a notebook, I know that that's indéfini, a or an or some. So I have a choice between un, une, or des. Now I know that my genre 
is masculin because cahier is masculin. And my number is singulier because I'm just talking about a notebook. Okay, so I would just say un cahier, un cahier. Now, to change a noun's number, okay, we can change a noun's number and we can change a noun's gender. So we're going to learn those rules that we can follow in order to do that. So if you want to take a singular noun and make it plural, or you want to take a plural noun and make it singular, the general rule is that you need to change the number of the article. Down here, we're taking the singular noun, un chien, and changing it to the plural noun, des chiens. Okay, so I'm changing the number of the article from un, singular, indefinite, masculine, to d, plural, indefinite, masculine. And then the last step is that you need to add an s to the end of the noun if you're making it plural. If you're taking a plural noun and making it singular, then you need to take away the s. Okay, so un chien will turn into des chiens with an s at the end. No pronunciation difference, but different. there is a different spelling. Now, in French, there are exceptions to all of our rules, so we must memorize the exceptions. And I'm going to teach you a couple of exceptions to the number rule. So for some nouns, depending on their ending, you actually can't just add an S, you have to do something else. So if your noun ends in A-L or A-I-L, you're going to change that A-L or A-I-L to A-U-X. Example, un travail, a job, des travaux, some jobs. There are some exceptions to this exception because it's French. Um, so if we have un carnaval, a carnival, to make it plural, we would say les, uh, pardon, des carnaval with just an S at the end. If we have la, le bol, okay, the ball, the big dance, okay, you would say les balles and just add an S. They just follow the general rule. These do not. Now, nouns ending in AU, EAU, and EU, you'll actually add an X for the plural. Example, un bateau is a ship. Des bateaux, e EAUX, is ships. Because EAU is my ending for bateau, I just add an X at the end. It cannot follow the normal rule. There are some exceptions like pneu, which ends in EU, but you don't add an X for pneu, you add an S. So les pneus, you just add an S. Nouns ending in OU can either take S or X for the plural. Most of those nouns ending in OU will take an S to make it plural. The exceptions are listed right here. We have bijou, juju, pu, caillou, genou, ibu, and shu. Bijou, juju, pu, caillou, genou, ibu, shu. Those are all of the nouns ending in OU that take an X instead of an S. You see this example, un bijou, a jewel, des bijoux, jewels. Look at the X at the end. If you have a noun ending in OU that's not one of these, simply add an S. For nouns that already end in S, X, or Z, you don't need to add anything to the end of the noun to make it plural. So all you need to do is change your article. Le fils changes to les fils. And then family names are never made plural in French. So if we want to talk about the propsts, you're just going to change your article to the plural, les, and leave props to the same. You don't add an S like you do in English. Just les props, no S. Now, you can also change a noun's gender if the noun is a person or an animal. You can't do this when a noun is a thing. So you'll see la table is always féminin. It will never, ever change because you can't change the gender of a table, okay? Now, the general rule is that you need to change the article and then add an E to the end of the noun. Our example, un ami changes to une ami, okay? Changed un to une, and ami, you add an E. If the noun already ends in an unaccented E, so just like this, add nothing. If the E has an accent, then you will follow the general rule, change the article, add an E to the end of the noun. Now, exceptions, of course. Nouns ending with a vowel plus L, N, or T, you're going to double the L, N, or T and add an E. Example, un champion becomes une championne. Nouns ending in ER, ER changes to E accent grave, R, E. Un manager, une managère. Um, sorry, another example, un stagiaire changes to une stagiaire. 
Nouns ending in E-U-R, they're either going to change to rice or ooze. Un directeur, 